Top 5 Biggest Drug Busts Ever The war on drugs is one of the most expensive, deadly, and high-risk military operations in the world, with cartels, criminal organizations, and sometimes even entire governments pushing more drugs than ever before. The global illicit drug trade is estimated at being somewhere around $360 billion today. In this video, we'll go into detail about some of the biggest drug busts ever, how valuable the drugs were, and how these operations were carried out. Here are the top 5 biggest drug busts ever. Five. 2010 Saudi Turkish Captagon Bust Phenethylene, which is better known by its brand name, Captagon, is an extremely popular psychoactive drug that's commonly used in the Middle East. Captagon smuggling has been used to fund terrorist activities of groups such as ISIS and Al-Qaeda, and it is one of the drugs that are most commonly sought after by anti-narcotics authorities all over the Middle East. Due to the heavy involvement of almost all criminal organizations in the region when it comes to the distribution of this drug, in 2010, Saudi Arabia alone saw over 7 tons of Captagon be smuggled into itself. The drug is usually traded between Saudi Arabia and Turkey, Although it's mostly produced in the Middle Eastern countries that are in the midst of a war, such as Syria or Iraq, that same year, a joint Saudi-Turkey task force announced that they had conducted the largest Captagon seizure in history, with over 30 tons of Captagon materials being seized. The number of materials seized in the operation would have been able to produce over 200 million pills of the illegal drug, and most of the money would have almost definitely gone into the hands of banned terrorist groups. Due to the sensitive nature of the drug's production, the authorities never revealed the location where the drugs were seized, who was producing these drugs, or how the operation was carried out. But other drug agencies and news agencies around the world seem to conclude that the operation did, in fact, take place somewhere in the Middle East. 4. 1980 for Pablo Escobar cocaine seizures In the 1980s, Colombia was the global capital of cocaine production, producing up to 80% of the world's cocaine. At the top of this illegal trade, was the Medellin cartel led by Pablo Escobar. The Medellin cartel was an extremely powerful criminal organization that was considered to be more powerful than the Colombian government itself, and at the peak of its power, it had a revenue of over $20 billion a year. At the same time, the world was undergoing a cocaine epidemic. Cocaine began to be a common sight in almost every Western country from the United States to Western European countries. Pablo Escobar was considered untouchable at the time, but after years of mounting American pressure, the Colombian government finally decided to take a strong stand against the influential cartel. And in 1984, Colombian authorities attacked one of the cartel's largest drug manufacturing plants in an isolated jungle called Tranquilandia. The plant was highly sophisticated, with its own electricity supply, water supply, and even an airstrip. Many of the cartel's workers were arrested, although not the leadership, and a total of 13.8 tons of cocaine was seized, which was roughly equivalent to point a billion dollars, or a fourth of the U.S.'s annual cocaine consumption. At the time, it was the largest drug raid in history. However, the point a billion dollars seizure barely made a dent in Pablo Escobar's activities which were making tens of billions of dollars each year. Escobar himself wouldn't be caught by the authorities for another decade when he was promptly shot during the operation. 3. 1991 San Francisco Heroin Bust In the late 80 seconds and the early 90 seconds, the United States was undergoing a massive heroin epidemic that was killing tens of thousands of people every single year. With so much money and resources being spent on combating the cocaine trade from countries like Colombia, the heroin trade was seen as a sort of afterthought by the D for numerous years. However, after an increase in heroin-related overdoses, 
the focus shifted more towards the heroin trade, which was notoriously hard to trace down. Much of this heroin was coming from Asia, produced in countries of the Golden Triangle in Southeast Asia, which included countries like Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia in 1991. The D announced the biggest heroin bust in the history of the world at the time, with authorities raiding a warehouse in Silmar that usually contained goods from all over Asia. This specific package started its journey in Thailand, where it was likely produced, then sent to Taiwan before reaching the United States, as most ships that made their way directly from Thailand to the U.S. were thoroughly checked for illicit drugs. Despite being such a sophisticated operation, the raid still took place, but even the D didn't expect what they found in the warehouse. A total of 50 boxes containing over a thousand pounds of heroin was found. The estimated street value of the bust was over $5 billion, which was larger than the D budget in and of itself. It's also one of the few busts that have actually been caught on camera with TV crews present at the site. The raid was quite significant globally as well, with the bust being equal to over 5% of the global heroin trade overall. 2. 1989 California Cocaine Bust Two years prior to the massive heroin bust in San Francisco, another massive drug bust took place in the state when authorities made what they called the largest cocaine seizure in history at a Los Angeles warehouse. The drugs belong to one of America's largest drug kingpins, Rafael Munoz Talavera, who was pushing over 77 tons of cocaine through his massive networks of warehouses across the United States. And this was just one of them. What's interesting is that the D didn't actually have any idea that there were drugs being pushed through this warehouse in the San Fernando Valley. They would have never even raided the place had it not been for a local who noticed the large number of drugs that discreet trucks that passed through the warehouse every day, calling the D because something just didn't sit right with him. The caller also identified a truck that was standing idle with a driver inside for no apparent reason and that raised the alarms that this might actually be a drug operation. What neither he nor the law enforcement agencies expected was going into the warehouse and finding boxes upon boxes filled with money, cocaine, or material to make cocaine. A total of 21 tons of cocaine was found in the warehouse, making it the largest drug bust the world had ever seen. Along with the cocaine, about $70 million in cash was also found, which would roughly be equivalent to $158 in 2021. The value of the drug seized in the massive operation was over $13 billion. Although Rafael Munoz Talavera wasn't caught in this raid itself, he was eventually found dead near the U.S.-Mexico border, allegedly at the hands of rival cartel members. 1. 2009 Afghanistan Opium Bust Afghanistan is considered to be one of the most prolific regions in the world. When it comes to drug smuggling, an estimated 70% of the world's poppy is grown in Afghanistan and a combination of lawlessness, local culture, and strategic location makes all of this possible. There are also various terrorist groups and criminal organizations that rely almost entirely on the heroin trade in order to raise funds for their war against the Afghan government and the United States. Massive-scale drug production in Afghanistan has been taking place since at least the 1970s when the country came under Soviet occupation. Since then, opium growth has reached unimaginable levels and stopping the growth and production of opium or heroin in Afghanistan alone would have the ability of crippling not just the terrorist groups that control their production, but also the global heroin trade as a whole. This is why Starting with the U.S. invasion of the country in 2001, the U.S. has worked closely with the allied Afghan government to bust various opium or heroin production facilities across Afghanistan. In 2010, the single largest drug bust in history was announced by a joint team of U.S. and Afghan forces with over 101 tons of various narcotics in an undisclosed part of the country. This included heroin, 
poppy seeds, hashish, and opium. Most of the troops on the ground belong to Afghan forces. And after heavy fights with the Taliban that own these narcotics, over 60 service members lost their lives in the fight, mainly due to incoordination. Later, the U.S. military conducted an airstrike on the stash, destroying a priceless amount of drugs and equipment. That's a wrap for the top five biggest drug busts ever. Do you think the war on drugs has been successful in achieving its goals? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you next time.